You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hi, Kent. My name is Grant. I'm working on a Remix app where gracefully handling network issues is a high priority. I've recently run into trouble with error handling in Remix and was wondering how you'd handle this. The error handling I'm after is this. If a form submission fails due to network issues, we show the user a dialog which informs them of the failure. When the dialog is dismissed, the user should be seeing their form again, still filled out and ready to retry the submission. How would you build this in Remix? Thanks in advance. And that was the call. Here's what Kent had to say. Hey there, Grant. Uh, so I realized you asked me this a little while ago, and there's been some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, new things <laughs> that have uh, happened since uh, you asked the question. So um, elsewhere, you asked me about this, and I suggested that uh, a discussion be opened. And uh, that has been opened, and uh, there's been a couple proposals. There are a couple of things going on in here. So I'll link to that discussion for anybody who's interested. Um, but the my my thinking on this is that um, we've got um, <clears throat> really two different types of error, or, or three different types of errors. Uh, they're um, the, the kind of errors that um, the user makes a submission, our server code handles it, and there's some sort of error in that case. Uh, for this, Remix has a really great solution with the error boundaries, but if you want to maintain the existing components that just show an error message, uh, even that uh, you can handle yourself uh, in your action you'll, or your uh, loader or whatever. You'll um, make sure you just handle errors and, and send a JSON response for what you want it to be rather than throwing it, um, an error. Uh, so that, I think, is well handled. Uh, the next kind is if there is no uh, internet connection, which is the kind that you're talking about. And uh, for that, the discussion here uh, talks about a, uh, what is it, use... Uh, network error uh, type thing. Um, I think what what you're suggesting there is that would be built into Remix. Um, but there's also like I thought somebody in here discussed a um, network connection or something like that. So what what I would do in this you could do outside of Remix is uh, you create a function that uh, just maintains state on whether the user is connected to the internet. And so if they're not connected to the internet, then disable forms and have some sort of um, message that shows, hey, you're not connected to the internet. Uh, if you really wanted this applied everywhere, then you could uh, provide your own version of the form component and uh, use Fetcher and everything that would prevent any submissions from going through um, and show some sort of error message indicating that the user is not uh, logged in or, or not on the internet. And so they uh, shouldn't be able to do those things. Um, and this, I think, is quite useful. Um, and potentially could be built into Remix, but um, more likely would be something that uh, would make it into Remix Utils by Sergio. Um, I think that would make a lot of sense. Uh, the final one that I do believe you bring up in this um, discussion somewhere is what happens if the user is connected to the internet um, for the request, but then the, their device disconnects for the response uh, before the response shows up. Uh, that one's a pretty tricky one. And um, I do think that that one would need to be handled by Remix. And so I do think that um, having a proposal uh, is a good idea. Uh, makes a lot of sense to have something where like use network error uh, would make a lot of sense. Um, and so yeah, I, I hope something that like that makes it in. I don't know of any other frameworks that really do anything to help with this. And so it would be really sweet to have this sort of thing built into all of them, um, and uh, certainly for Remix, because it's my favorite. But yeah, all of them, I think, would definitely benefit from some sort of um, network-related error handling, where uh, your server-side code can't even get called because the uh, network isn't, isn't working. Um, maybe a more generic solution uh, in Remix, where Remix abstracts away the fetch requests that are happening for you. Um, would be sensible in this case. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. 
especially when we're talking about progressive enhancement here. If there's a if your device disconnects for the response uh, in a multi-page app, uh, then you can't do anything. You're you're stuck because you're not running JavaScript in the client. There's no code running in the client, and so uh, the user's just going to get the browser's default page for hey, I couldn't connect to this client or to the server anymore. Um, so yeah, thinking about what we could do to enhance that experience and make it a little bit better uh, without blowing up the entire app um, is definitely an interesting uh, topic. Not something that I think is solved uh, in a general sense anywhere. Um, and so I appreciate you opening up the discussion. And I hope that uh, people jump in with their ideas. I'll put a link to the discussion in the notes of this episode. And I hope you have a nice day. This has been the Call Kent Podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdods.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdods.com slash calls.